everyone. You are welcome to Prospect Channel TV. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. If you have not, please kindly do so by pressing the subscribe button. Thank you very much once again. God bless you. Governor Uzodima clears hair on Amajiris. Fulani S men hiding in the forest, waiting to attack Imo people. The Imo state governor Hope Uzodima has dismissed claims of Fulani S men and Amajiris looking in forests around the state. Uzodima insisted that there is no Fulani S men and Amajiri hiding in the forest waiting to attack residents of the states. He made the clarification while addressing journalists at the state government house on Friday. The governor assured the residents of adequate security than that the opposition was behind such claims. Uzodima urged residents to go about their normal businesses without fear because there was no cause for alarm. He said there is no truth in the story that uh, Fulani S men and Amajiris are looking in the forest waiting for a time to attack Imo people. Is a wicked rumor masterminded by the opposition. Imo people should go about their normal businesses as there is no cause for alarm. The government is on top of the security situation in the state. All right. So, hello, guys. What's your take on this? Following the COVID-19 breakout in Nigeria, several Amajiris who traveled from the north have been intercepted in the southeast. Yeah, so the governor should uh, uh, actually uh, take care of this because this is not a politics matter. It's not a political affair. Saying that people are saying that Amajiri and in Imo states and all that and the uh, Fulani S men is a rumor masterminded by the opposition. It's not everything you talk with uh, opposition or whatever. This is a serious affair because we know what is going on. Since the lockdown, whatever stuff, we know how these people have been transporting themselves to south, 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 east, south, west, there about. We've been seeing them. And those people at the border, the way they are, the way they have been intercepted, them too. These people will load themselves in a truck carrying cows, tomatoes, and all that. So for the government to say this, I don't think this is really true that the opposition party is trying to mastermind this rumor. We can also re uh, recall that uh, recently Nnamdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, had alleged that the northern youth planned to terrorize the southeast using Amajiri. Kanu also claimed that Arua leaders were exporting COVID-19 infected Amajiri to key people in the southeast. So is the governor trying to tell us that there is nothing uh, like uh, uh, Fulani S men in uh, Imo state, but we have seen uh, videos, okay, uh, going around the internet where these people have attacked the Imo list, Imo like, sorry. So you have to be very, very careful because we don't actually know what these people are, are up to. They said they go about with dangerous weapons and all that. So this is not what somebody should play with. Okay. Thank God he said that the government is on top of the matter, that there is no cause for alarm. So, Igbo people, you people have to uh, listen to your governor. He said there is no cause of alarm, that everything is okay in your state. We pray that it should be like that in Jesus' name. Okay. Somebody said here, yeah, this man, I thought you were a nice person when you were worshipping at Holy Trinity uh, Catholic Church with me without knowing you are an evil, in, <laughs> evil man. May God have mercy on you. All right. Somebody said, I wish our government in Imo State should quickly set up a team of all traditional rulers, uh, security professionals, 
uh, drawn across the alleged communities in Imo State, mobilized, charged them on terms of reference to determine the facts about the matter arising rather than running to the press to uh, disabuse our mindset. Obi, Obi Chief Eva, please, I beg, look into this matter, he said. All right, somebody said that yeah, the influence of the Amajiris into the states without government reactions, like other governments in the South, <laughs> is a very good picture which cannot be denied. The Lord said, stay in your state or where you are doing your business until under lockdown. Okay. You until another until sorry until another law says you are free, but the law is not hidden to rather some people on the higher post value it and say, Let them go and no qualms. Who is cheating who? Okay, somebody said, My governor stop mentioning opposition. Okay, whenever the emo is complaining about full of me. Yes, men. It is not opposition party as you claim is a general impression held by the entire certain uh, part of the country. Not when Nde Imo talks about issue bothering them, you will attribute it such to opposition. You are fit to debunk the rumor going around that you are planning to build 15 amateur schools for these total strangers. Ndaimo expect you to come out and clarify on that, whether it is a rumor or fact. Not tomorrow you mention the opposition as a carrier of the rumor. Ndaimo is not comfortable in your silence over the rumor regarding building 15 amateur schools. Wow, but uh, why is he going to do that? Is amateur part of the southeast or whatever? Why does he want to do that? Anyway, he has not clarified that whether it is true or not. So let's not just say more to that. Okay, somebody said here, we should not blame him because nobody from Imo voted for him. He is a Supreme Court appointed governor. <laughs> wow, well, that this one said then uh, hopeless and amateurly court governor, coward and fool. It's not hope Uzo Dema, but hopeless Uzo Dema because he's a terrorist. He's, this is a governor of Amajiri. Okay, one, somebody said one day the truth must prevail. If Amajiri of or Fulani S men like, let them buy all our forests in collaboration with the Supreme Court governor and the Saboteur kings. Years to come, they will, they will flew. They can have documents covering the land they occupied, but let it be clear to them that the money used in purchasing those land is our money from our common treasure. The hundred million naira given to uh, these uh, uh, people by the federal government to achieve that purpose. Igbo cannot share their ancestral land with Fulanese. They are evil, okay? To accommodate the Fulani men in our land is like digging graves that will consume our unborn children. God will not allow that to happen, he said. All right, somebody said, yeah, I have always known this man to be a fool. What has the opposition have to do with this? He always want to please President Muhammad Buhari, forgotten that the life of his people comes first. He must always produce negative governors. All right. Somebody said, see your life. Can you say waiting? Now your people, they mislead you. Okay. Make I tell you all these things, when are they talk? Make una leave Fulani. S men. Okay. I beg. All right. Somebody said Supreme Court Governor has spoken for. Say hello, guys. There are so many of them here, but we cannot go for all of it. 
Don't forget to leave your opinion below the comment box. Thank you very much for always being here. God bless you. Bye.